Hey there, I like physics. What about you? Great! Great, that's what we're talking about today. Now let's get started, right? Whoa! Oh, dude! Oh, hey everybody. Today you'll be learning about this. A bicycle wheel gyro. I hope you have fun. Don't try this at home, guys. I'm just kidding. You, you can do this too. So basically, all we use is spokes, pegs, tire. Ow! <laughs> yeah! And a rope! And a chair! Alright. By pivoting this, you feel a strange force acting on it. You do. Uh. Bicycle wheel acts as a gyroscope, exhibiting properties of angular momentum. Therefore, you feel some sort of force pushing you out when you pivot the wheel as such. For example, most of the bicycle wheel's mass is concentrated along the wheel's rim rather than at its center, and this causes a larger angular momentum at a given speed. Angular momentum is characterized by both size and direction. When a decently light person sits on a low friction chair and spins the wheel at a high velocity, your whole body and the chair will begin to turn. The system as a whole ends up obeying the principle of conservation of angular momentum. Another example of the bicycle wheel acting as a gyroscope would be when it's suspended with a string and it's spun really fast. See, if you just hold the string and let the bicycle wheel go, it does this. But if you go ahead and spin it, if you spin it like this and let it go, it stays up. The novas didn't work, so we weren't able to calculate the velocity or the acceleration. And I was like, what? Because I wanted to, you know? Math is my thing. Alright, well that's the end of the video. No! Oh, no! Guys, come on. guys, guys. This math was fun. But don't take my word for it. Go and try it yourself. That's a wrap. <laughs>